how to sharpen your images. Today I'll show you two different techniques that I use at the end of every edit in post-production. Follow me in Photoshop. So I am just at the end of an edit and I'm going to merge all my layers into one layer. So command option shift E on your keyboard. And then you can go to filter, other and high pass. Here you're gonna see your layer turn into radiator and you can see that if you move your radius up it's an image full of color and if you go down you can see only details. So what we want is to see enough detail for our image to be sharpened but uh, not to see any color. So you can see you can move around and see what's best for you. Here I think that around 3 um, pixels is interesting. So then click OK and change the blending mode of your layer. You can choose between overlay, soft light and hard light. Hard light is going to be a very strong um, effect. So as you can see on and off, then you have um, soft light that will be very subtle and in the middle you will find an overlay that is between hard light and soft light. You can change the opacity of your layer if um, you think that the effect is a little too strong and here what I'm gonna do is to add a mask so alt click on mask so everything disappears and then with the brush at um, 80% I'm going to brush where I want to see the sharpening uh, happening. So here I'm brushing uh, mostly the church and some of the buildings and the little um, restaurant uh, on the right side. on and off so now I'm going to show you the second technique so command option shift E to merge all your layers I call it sharpening 2 and then I'm going to turn it and convert it into a smart object and filter, camera row filter. Here I'm going to take uh, the brush and brush where I want to see my sharpening uh, happening. So that will be a bit like uh, before. I'm going to church. I'm going to brush the church, some of the building, the little restaurant, like where I want to where I want to have my viewer eyes to go. Then I don't want to see um, the overlay, so I'm going to toggle off this option and I'm going to choose texture. And as you can see, if I uh, get my texture up, the sharpening is happening. You can see down, it's very uh, glowy effect, very smooth, and then up for sharpening to happen. So yeah, I'll be there around 30% uh, and then you can see before and after uh, that is subtle uh, sharpening of the image. So then I click OK and the sharpening is done. So it's two different techniques that you can use for travel photography but even portrait if you want to sharpen the eyes of your uh, model. The two techniques are very similar, you can choose the one uh, you prefer. In my end for travel photography, I use the high pass um, filter for sharpening my images at the end of every edit. But when it comes to portrait, I tend to use um, the techniques in camera raw with texture. I found the effect a little bit more uh, subtle, so better for um, skin and for um, people. But of course you should try both technique and use the one you prefer. Thanks for following along. I hope this video helped you to understand how to sharpen your images. If you liked, please push the like button. It helps a lot to grow my channel. And don't forget to subscribe to don't miss any videos. See you in the next one.